What's going on everyone, my name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 19 custom tactics tutorial and in the next couple of minutes we're gonna talk about the best attacking strategy in the game. And before we get started guys, I know all of you are football fans guys and you will love this app guys. It's one of the only if not the only football app that I've got installed on my phone. It's called OneFootball and it's absolutely fantastic guys. You've got everything over there. You've got the news. You can see all the latest news guys. For example here, Guardiola insists Manchester City won't fear Anfield despite horror record. You can also select your favorite team guys and your national team and if you do that you will always stay up to date with all the news regarding those. They also got the latest transfer rumors. Besides that you can also see the live scores from the games and uh, you've got other options like videos and other awesome things that uh, keep you in touch with the football community. I will leave a link to this app in the description below. Make sure to check it out. I'm sure you will love it and you will find it as you find my tutorials very very useful. Moving now guys to our tutorial and this type of uh, custom tactic should be used when you want to pressure your opponent. Uh, you're down one two goals guys and you want to come back in the game or towards the end of the game. It's uh, kind of an all in custom tactic and you either uh, equalize and win the game or you may lose the game at a bigger difference but towards the end guys what's the difference between 1-0, 2-0 or 3-0? It's much better to try and come back. The most important thing now in defensive style will be constant pressure. You gotta put mayhem pressure on the opponent's defense don't let him breathe don't give him time to do a pass to do a long pass to do a dribbling you gotta have two three players always pressuring him and constant pressure does exactly that width should be very very balanced in my opinion depth now again your defender line you don't want to do this uh you don't want to drop back like this because why are you still applying constant pressure if your defender line is too much in the back? Gotta go higher here with the six, seven bars over there, even more seven, eight bars. That's what I would do in order to put pressure and combine it with width and constant pressure is exactly what you need in order to get the ball back. Offensive style. Uh, many might say here that the fast build-up is fantastic to use in these moments. I like the fast build-up, but sometimes uh, doesn't give me a lot of options to play in the midfield. You can go fast build-up or balanced. Just test balanced, test fast build-up, see which of these two options fits your playstyle most. With an attack now, you gotta go a bit wider. Once you get the ball, you need to stretch the opponent's defense. Very, very important option here in order to create space and open his defense up. Players in the box. Gotta try those crosses, guys. I've done uh, tutorials about crosses on the channel. You need to check them out. Here, I wouldn't go full. I would go uh, maximum at 8-7 at players in the box. Corners, gotta be four bars. Free kicks, gotta be four bars. These are, in my opinion, wait, second players in the box, a bit too much maybe for a cross. You still want to have a player back for the second ball. Now, guys, you wanna take these custom tactics and you wanna combine it with these instructions. Uh, okay, we've got so many formations in the game and this custom tactic for pressuring the opponent towards the end of the game uh, works with each of them. But one thing you gotta change no matter the formation you are using. Uh, you see, you've got uh, four defenders, right? In the system with four defenders, I would advise you to don't let your fullbacks on balance, both of them. You gotta have one stay back while attacking, in my opinion, the other one supporting the attack because you might also lose the ball. And if the opponent comes, and uh, gets on a counter attack and you only have two defenders over there the two center backs it might be impossible to stop him because he will open the game on the wing but if you've got three defenders you still have a chance of defending that also this 
until now has proved very very effective for me so guys there you have it the best offensive strategy custom tactic in fifa 19 you can use it in division rivals in head to head you can use it uh, in foot champions it's a fantastic one go check it out and also make sure to test balanced or fast build up see which fits your playstyle. This will be all for today guys, don't forget to leave a like at the video, let's try and get over 1000. If you wanna see an overpowered 1k squad builder, if you wanna see an overpowered 100k squad builder video up on the channel next. My name is Ovi and I'll see you guys later.